Okay, his fit though. Songwa's fit here. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Actually Let's Talk About It with me, your host Lily. And y'all, we gonna get into a lot of things because we're about to play catch up once again. It has been a hot minute since I posted on the Patreon, y'all. And I do apologize for the wait. It has just been really busy lately and I've been doing a lot of reading. So yeah, I did not have time to film. But I have made a bit of time this weekend because right now it is November 25th, y'all. So I do not know when this video is going to come out on YouTube. But for the patrons on Patreon, between the 25th and the 26th is when y'all will see this video go live. And it is going to be for AT's The World episode final will, okay? Mm -hmm. The tracklist preview. And also we're going to react to the basically World Z track preview so we'll see we'll, we're gonna see what it's gonna give okay but before i get into that because it is still indigenous people's month just remember to be very in touch with what is going on with the indigenous people all around the world okay because it is very serious things happening very important things happening and that is what i've been devoting myself to just reading and i still haven't read enough about what is going on in the Congo and in Palestine and in Sudan right now. And those are just three issues, but I am learning that there's even more going on broadly with various indigenous communities. So I am going to still need to research what is happening in those places as well, because it is all relevant and it's all essential that we realize that with colonialism comes capitalism and consumerism and how in the United States, we just had a day just pass that they like to call Thanksgiving that is literally a masquerade of a genocide against an indigenous tribe within North America that colonizers ethnically cleansed and murdered a bunch of men, women, and children from Thursday to Friday. And now those are days where sales go on. And yeah, that's colonialism in a nutshell to turn a genocide into a way to make money off of people who don't understand the history of the days is some sick stuff but that's where it's at both thursday which is considered national mourning day by indigenous north americans and even indigenous south americans i do believe as well aka mesoamerican mesoamericans or andean peoples so this last Thursday and Friday, so the 23rd and the 24th, people know them as Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Those are days of mourning for the indigenous peoples who had centuries ago suffered great losses on these days back in the day and still have had no acknowledgement from the United States government about basically reparations or even an apology. So there is that. So yeah, we have to be very aware of what these days mean and how capitalism and consumerism feed into that. Okay, especially because we're talking about ATs who literally has a concept against going against the grain and not getting caught up in what the government is feeding you and telling you to do, but thinking for yourself. So you see how everything is connected that way. But yes, I'm gonna end it with this free Congo free Palestine and free Sudan and we're gonna get into this reaction okay okay and I have been away from it and I do apologize y'all but I like I've just been busy I've been learning I've been listening I've been watching who I have been reading nonfiction. it's not no joke especially when you take in notes every other page I'm just like there is so much history that you don't always get to learn that you have to do independently and I'm playing catch up right now y'all and still trying to orchestrate these videos because the videos on Congo and Palestine and Sudan have to be exact because there's so much history wrapped in the current events. So in order to understand the present, you have to go into the past. So it's just going to be multiple parts and I have to write it out like an essay before I can even start filming. So y'all, 
it'll take time, but I am going to get it done before the end of this year. Trust me on that. But yes, we are going to get straight into this AT's reaction. And y'all, we are almost close. We are like one week away. Six days away, give or take, depending on where you are in the world. Six days away. Now, I already done got my pre-orders in. Okay, I already done got that in. Know that. And if you can afford it, and I do mean if you can afford it, go ahead and do that for you too. Okay, even if it's just one album, if you can afford it. Because they ain't cheap in the States. Okay? Okay, if you can afford it, if it ain't going to break your bank or cause you to lose out on your transportation, you do that. If not, just stream Spotify, Pandora, even a free version. Listen to them as a stream. That's all you got to do. Okay, but we're going to make sure this comeback is big for the boys. Okay, for the guys. Okay, we're going to make sure that it's going to be it's going to be a big deal for them because I like the theme. I like what the fact that it's the first studio album, the second studio album that they've ever released. Everything else has been EPs or extended plays, as we like to call them, or mini albums, to be more specific. But we're going to see exactly what they're going to give us in these trackless preview. And it's just the instrumentals for this particular video that we're watching first. And then I do believe for the track preview of World Z, it's going to be bigger than that. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see what ATs is going to give us here. So let's get straight into it. I have been rambling for dang near six minutes, y'all. I apologize. But yes, let's get into it. I'm excited. I want to see what they're going to do here. We know. Okay. Let me turn it up because I can't really hear that. Okay, so this is going to be the title track. Okay, one thing I got to say. One thing I got to say, and I hope I don't get flack for this, but I feel like it has to be said. I feel like it has to be said. Like, there is a difference between when a member of ATs composes and arranges something than when someone who's not in the group composes and arranges something. I haven't noticed that because the last three tracks, the instrumentals that we've heard, they sound the same. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. They sound the same and I'm seeing the same people who arranged it and they sound, they are like variants of each other. Okay. They're like variants of each other, but it's very identical almost. So I think at this point, going into the next albums for ATs, there just needs to be different people who are also contributing to the arrangements because some of it is starting to be a bit repetitive and I know that it's to fit the theme but you can still have very different types of tracks and still keep the theme that you're going for and I really think it's all about execution and it's all about just thinking outside the box and we need more people to, that are in the room to think outside the box just a little bit just a little bit that's all I'm say that's all I'm say Okay, this sound a little different. Arriba? Like in Spanish? That? Okay. Yeah, it sounds a, a bit different. A bit. Okay. So of like gonna be interesting. I wanna hear what the lyrics gonna sound like for this one. Thank 
hard to, okay. Okay, so now we got variation in the sound a little bit. We in the sixth song, but you know. Better late than ever. I feel like this might be a spoken word. Okay, see, so this is what I'm talking about. That variation. That variation here. Yeah. Okay, so you're starting to get variation. You just gotta add people. You just gotta add people. You got to have the members included. And you see the difference. Okay. But it looks like the tracks where the members had not only lyrical input, but composing and arrangement are gonna be some of the best ones in terms of overall quality. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty sure of that. Are we gonna get a slow song? Finally! Are we gonna get a vocal line song this time? Y'all, I've been saying it for Okay, I've been saying it for a minute. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I want to see how that's going to go. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious now. I'm curious. I'm curious. Yeah, but it looks like the ones where the members did some of the composing and arranging as well as the lyrics are going to be the best ones. I notice. I already know before I even look at it. Okay, so now we're going to get into World War Z, that track preview. Because I can't wait to hear it. I feel like it's going to be epic. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, his fit though. Song was fit here. His songs too. Okay. They doing a little something, something here. Mm. Okay, your son's here. Though. Come on now. Whoever did this, whoever did this, they know exactly what they're doing. Okay? Now, those, those tracks, though. Those tracks they was teasing, are they the unit tracks? Are those the unit tracks? Because I did notice that we only got four of them. So it's Biggie and Jongo, and then it is Songwa's son, it's You Know and Young, and then it is Hong Joon and Yo-san. Are we getting four unit tracks? Is that what they are telling us? Is that what they are telling us? So four out of them eight songs are going to be unit tracks. Okay, somebody has been listening to people. Somebody has been on the Twitter forums. Somebody has been in the fan chats. Somebody from KQ has been listening to the people. That's really what they're going to give us. And these are going to be the four unit songs. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's all I'm going to say. These are going to be the four unit songs and then the other eight outside of well the other seven because i think crescent part two is just a spoken word i don't think that anybody
from ATs is going to be on that particular track. It's like kind of like an interlude to the next transitional track. So out of the other stuff, it's all going to be group ones, but these four is going to be the unit ones. Mm. Mm. They know what we came here for. They know what we came here for, okay? They know. And I'm so excited because it does seem like they said crazy form is going to be somehow better than bouncy. I don't know how they're going to top themselves, but I know that ATs can do it. I know that ATs is going to do it choreography wise, aesthetic wise, storyline wise, vocally. Okay, lyrically. It's just going to be a whole vibe. And I can't wait until December 1st. Okay, because they're going to give it to us every time. And we're going to finally figure out what's going on with Hong Joon. Because I did read y'all's comments, okay, on the trailer that they released a few weeks ago for this album. And I'm like, somebody is like, it's Hong Joon. Has he been switched out with somebody who is not him from Hong Joon, a.k.a. the Pirate Tees version of himself. And he's not the Universe Z version of himself. Who is this man? And I'm like, hmm. Because why is he laughing maniacally like he's the Joker or something at the end of the trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have questions, but yeah, y'all. Like, I'm excited to see what this is going to do. I'm excited to hear. I accidentally, because y'all, you know how we're not trying to be into that capitalism and that consumerism too much. Okay, especially during, you know, the Black Friday because of what it means historically for indigenous people. Okay. I wasn't, I didn't buy nothing on, on that day that they try to call Thanksgiving, which is National Morning Day, did buy not a dang thing. Okay, proud of myself, because I didn't do it last year either. Didn't buy anything on Black Friday, will not be buying anything on Cyber Monday at all. Okay, I did all my shopping last, last month, or the earlier part of this month. I don't need to shop, and all I did was shop for necessities. I didn't even buy nothing else, okay? I don't need nothing else. Okay, I don't need nothing else, alrighty? Alrighty, but I did make sure I pre-ordered these albums. Why? Because I made sure that I had the, you know, I had to make sure I had the funds. Okay, okay. Because, you know, bills are f f come first before ATs. As much as we love them. Okay, we plan with our bills. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, huh. the system of capitalism has not been destroyed yet. <laughs> okay, so we need to still pay this rent, keep the lights on. Okay, pay this little PG&E. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, but yeah. Outside of that, I made sure I pre-ordered. However, I pre-ordered late, so I went like, I went with Target. Don't look at me like that because I was gonna go through KQ's official website on the app for ACs, but for some reason they out here trying to charge an arm and a leg for shipping, and I'm like, I got a red card. I don't need to do this. So I did it that way. So they will be coming next week. So I'm probably gonna do an unboxing video on that. So look forward to that next weekend is when I'll probably get them. So that's when I'll film it. And it might come on YouTube a little bit later, but it, patrons will see it first. Okay, okay, okay. And why did I forget to do the Patreon shout out? And I just reminded myself that I forgot to do it. Y'all, I will do it towards the end of this video because what the heck am I thinking? Oh my goodness, like what am I thinking? That is so not funny. Um, but yeah, let me, let me just get into it. Cause like, what the heck? I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know what's happening. Okay. At all. Like, I don't even know what's going on there, but excuse me. Okay. Just excuse me. And that's all I will say. Okay. Excuse me for that. That's my bad. Ugh. Okay. But anyway, so I will do the Patreon shout going towards the end of the video in closing because I can't believe I forgot that <laughs> letting you know it's not scripted but I did make sure I pre-ordered the albums for some reason I got the I think the A album and the diary one and the vinyl because I couldn't get the Z album because the pre-orders were all out so there's that so I got the vinyl and I don't even have a record player but I got the vinyl anyway so yeah I already know it's going to be a banger, so once I do get a record player, then I'll be able to play the vinyl on it. So it's a win. It's a win. And I have other vinyls that I bought, like I bought Khalid's American Teen one, and I think one of Halsey's albums is on vinyl. And I do not know where those are, but I'm going to find them and buy a record player eventually. Possibly not right away because I can get it digitally, but either way, like, you know, yeah. 
So I did the three things and then yeah but that's pretty much what I did when I pre-ordered them. So I will be doing an unboxing and yeah y'all because people are trying to say that our goals because I follow a few fan accounts for at &E on Twitter. So the goals are to just like stream and of course watch the music video a couple of different times. I'm definitely going to do a reaction to Crazy Form once it's out and encourage people both at the beginning and the end to actually go to AT's channel and watch it and then come back to the reaction you know mm -hmm. and i'm hoping that they debut number one at the billboard hot, um, top 200 for the albums yeah because i'm like it definitely can be done so that's what i'm hoping going ahead with that and then lastly y'all um just remember to always stay aware of what is going on with the indigenous communities from the indigenous people in the americas both north and south and that includes indigenous people in canada because they fight for rights for their land as well fighting not to be pushed off their lands in my own country in the states they are fighting to for their lands for their for water to stay pure and not polluted and for so many other things for their sovereignty as well as nations and you know the u.s government gonna do what it does best and be just a real piece of work to put it very lightly but again we still move and we still resist and we still persevere and we still gonna be down 10 toes down for our indigenous brothers and sisters because this is their land and we have not forgotten that and don't forget to you know not buy any tech right now at the moment because they are still stealing the resources that they make for tech if you are anyone like me who knows what is takes to make technology like the phone that i'm recording this video on or the computer that i'm watching the videos that I just reacted to on, it takes Colton, it takes Cobalt to make sure that these electronics have power and can, and lithium as well, and making sure that these electronics have power that spreads without short circuiting. And in order to get those resources, they are mined in the Congo. But Congolese people are not seeing enough of the wealth from these resources that they're forced to mine. And they're also in some cases being enslaved to mine these forces, these resources. So make sure that you are boycotting all tech until further notice. And if you do need tech for any emergency reason, make sure that you buy it refurbished. Do not buy anything new. Make sure that these companies know that as long as you are not going to be upfront about how you get these materials, we aren't going to buy. Okay. And then also in terms of Palestine, they are currently in the midst of a pause. And it's not really a pause, y'all. So it's just not. It's not really a pause. And we don't need a pause. We need a complete and utter ceasefire. And I'm going to say it again. We need a complete and utter ceasefire. We do not need a pause in genocide. We need a complete and utter stop of it. And we are not going to stop campaigning for it. Okay? And shout out to the people who shut it down on that Macy's Day parade. Because I don't know why we would have a parade glorifying the genocide of indigenous Native Americans. While we're also protesting a genocide happening in Palestine that our government is funding. It's just not making sense. But yeah, I'm so glad that they day got ruined. And that the protesters shut it down. And glued their hands to the street. And you had to like stop everything. Because they was out here glued to the street. And you couldn't do nothing. Because that's what y'all get for celebrating genocide. Yeah, yeah, okay, I said it. And to support Palestine, just remember to be boycotting McDonald's, Starbucks. Mm-mm-mm, mm-mm-mm, mm mm Yeah, Starbucks, y'all. McDonald's, Starbucks, Disney. We ain't giving them a dime because they out here donating money to genociders. And I'm like, oh, you can go on ahead, sir. Or man, but Disney has always had racism interwoven against Black people, Asian people. So why I wouldn't think that they would be on the wrong side of history yet again? I don't know. But yeah. And so we just hands off on them for right now. Hands off on them. Hands off on them. And then in terms of the Sudan, just remember to be educated about what is going on there. It is a ethnic war um, going on. And that is what you need to know. Al Jazeera is one of the only news resources that actually has stories coming out of Sudan right now. One of the, the only one that I've seen really. That's the craziest part. 
and Al Jazeera is very unbiased. They are making sure the facts are known. They are making sure the live coverage, they update dang near now because it's getting more attention almost every day regarding what's happening in Sudan, in Congo, and in Palestine. So make sure you're looking up Al Jazeera English because they do it originally in Arabic, but they also have English channels as well. So yeah, yeah. And also we're going to do our patient shout outs here because we're closing it out. So the first patient shout out does go out to Jenna Beva. The second patient shout out does go out to Avi. The third patient shout out does go out to Clover Me. And the fourth patient shout out does go out to Sammy. And I want to thank you all so much for your support on the channel. It really does mean the world to me. And yeah, y'all. That is the end of the video. I think I've rambled enough about my theories and stuff regarding these, the next era for ATs. But yeah, yeah, that's it for me. That's it for me for now. And I will be back with more ATs content. I'm going to be recording more tonight. So if you're on Patreon, y'all gonna get a dump of stuff. Y'all are going to get a dump of stuff. So be prepared. But until the next video, y'all, we'll see you on the next one.